So next up, we have a presentation from Mont Royal Resources with the ticker code MRZ, a company focused on lithium exploration in the underexplored East Main Greenstone Belt of Canada. Executive Director Pete Ruse was unable to join us live. However, I'll bring up a recording of his presentation from yesterday. Good morning. My name is Peter Roos. I am the Executive Director at Mont Royal Resources, ASX ticker MRZ. Uh, thank you very much for having me on today. Um, I'm here to talk about the company. Uh, we are a uh, Quebec-focused uh, exploration company with uh, two large project areas uh, in the James Bay region. And uh, we have recently um, embarked on a lithium exploration uh, program, mul multiple lithium exploration programs. And uh, I look forward to running you through these uh, as we go through the presentation. Here's the usual disclaimer. I encourage uh, people to jump on our website uh, to access the presentation in their own time. Uh, look, a, a few highlights here. We have a 650 square kilometre land package here. Uh, where we were a um, an early mover, and we have basically been in the in the country now for um, for about three three and a half years, and we have uh, been exploring for base metals. And recently, the board had uh, resolved to open uh, open up our view and our uh, exploration uh, ambitions to include lithium. Uh, there's obviously been a absolute uh, flood of, of companies going into the region exploring for lithium our ground is very prospective for lithium it sits on greenstone belts uh, with the right uh, mafic volcanic rocks and uh, and granite formations that uh, are conducive to the lithium pegmatite and spodumene bearing pegmatites uh, we have been busy in the field uh, we have um, we have got uh, two prospect prospecting programs underway at our Northern Lights properties, and we will have a third uh, prospecting program underway at our Wapatik project, uh, which has been subject to, to minor delay, well, delays due to the wildfire situation, which we hope to be resolved in, uh, in short order. Quebec is a really attractive uh, uh, exploration uh, setting for, for companies. It is uh, ranked eighth on the Fraser Institute of Mining Attractiveness Index. Great infrastructure, hydropower, and uh, it had a really good fiscal regime with, uh, with, with rebates for exploration companies. A, a quick dive into our corporate snapshot, 82 million shares on issue. We've recently carried out a, a heavily oversubscribed placement, share placement, uh, about a week ago which has uh, topped up our cash position to just under $4.5 million. Uh, as of today's closing uh, share price, uh, our market cap is uh, approximately $18 million, giving us a very um, attractive enterprise value with a lot of room for, uh, for growth. The substantial shareholders, uh, Michael O'Keefe, who is well known in the Australian and North American, particularly the Canadian uh, capital markets, uh, is our largest shareholder. And his support is obviously ongoing and, and very uh, appreciated. And the uh, the other large substantial shareholder is a family office out of Western Australia. The 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 rest of the top twenty on our share register uh, are all uh, are all sort of noteworthy family office investors with a particular uh, focus on mining or mining investments. They have been with a lot of them have been with us from the very beginning since two thousand and nineteen and continue to be really supportive. Uh, Board of Directors, uh, Gary Lawler uh, is, is, uh, is the chairman. He, uh, he has an extensive uh, uh, career uh, spanning over 40 years in the uh, corporate, uh, corporate law and uh, mergers and acquisitions. He sits on, uh, on a number of uh, boards, not most noteworthy champion iron, and um, he was on the board of Riversdale Mining, uh, Riversdale Resources uh, and Riversdale Mining. Uh, and is a huge support to uh, to me as executive director. Uh, our other non-executive director is Ronnie Beaver, who is well known in the Australian capital markets. He he chairs Bannerman Resources and has a uh, a, a long career spanning uh, in uh, investment banking. My background uh, has been uh, 
funds management and capital markets in uh, in both Sydney and Perth and now London, and uh, and I sit on the board of uh, Parabellum Resources and Gunsin, which is a UK listed company. So we are a uh, a tight group. Uh, we have uh, in country consultants working on both properties uh, that we own and. Uh, we look to look to build on on that uh, in country team. Uh, looking forward as we get more active in the field. So diving into the projects, uh, Northern Lights has been our focus uh, over the last quarter quarter and a half of operating. As as I mentioned, two lithium uh, two lithium fieldwork programs uh, have commenced, and uh, and will uh, will also recommence in September as well. And these are targeting uh, the, you know, pegmatite uh, outcrops uh, across the property that we have uh, we have seen. We've carried out a, a lidar survey, which is a low altitude photographic survey that has been really interesting, and I'll I'll, I'll cover that on a slide that's coming up. Uh, and the Wapatik project will commence. We will commence its maiden lithium uh, exploration program there. This one, this project still is suffering some delays from road closures due to the wildfires, but we hope that situation will rectify itself soon and we'll be in the field there um, in short order. I've mentioned, uh, James, I've mentioned Quebec as a really good jurisdiction to uh, to operate and I'll, uh, I'll let the audience uh, read that in their own time, but we're very happy to be in this province and I think it's a testament that there are so many other Australian listed juniors now um, joining us. It's a it's a really exciting place to be exploring. Just a, uh, a shot here of our uh, of our project locations and the uh, and the vast uh, collection of of discoveries that have that have happened around us. Uh, you'll see with the uh, the grey the grey labels are all of the uh, all of the lithium uh, both. Uh, defined resources and also exploration uh, targets and or exploration success that has been experienced with uh, lithium juniors and the the dark uh, the dark uh, bubbles are the uh, are the known gold deposits uh, around most notably uh, which I think the audience will know about uh, Patriot battery metals has been a uh, has been a very noteworthy uh, discovery and that that project is uh, is a is a fantastic discovery that has really Open the door to lithium exploration in in Quebec, and uh, uh, the the other thing worth noting is, which we are very encouraged about, is our Wapatik project sits uh, sits about 12, uh, 12 or so kilometres north of the James Bay uh, project, which is owned by Alchem, which has just had a a very meaningful uh, resource upgrade in in August. Uh, and we, we, I will also also note that the our, our neighbour Ben's Mining has had some recent success with their lithium exploration project uh, called uh, Ruby Hill West, which we uh, which we were very encouraged by the uh, the, the potential of the, the same mineralisation and the same volcanic uh, mafic rocks uh, leading into our Bohir property, which you'll see there in the centre of the collection. So, looking at the map of Northern Lights here, uh, the dark Blue project outlines are um, are owned seventy five percent Mont Royal. The East Main Loran project is under option, which has got one more option uh, milestone payment to be made at the at December of this year, and we'll own that um, we'll own that seventy five percent Mont Royal. And the uh, and that's really Bow here and East Main Loran are the focus of our lithium exploration going on at the moment. So here is just really a, a, a chart here to show uh, what we're up to. So as I said, multi-phase exploration program, sampling, mapping, uh, chasing up these outcropping targets that came from the LIDAR survey. Uh, we hope to uh, delineate and rank those targets uh, with, with assay results and, and obviously get back into those particular targets that are most promising. And uh, and do some trenching work, which is a very efficient way to delineate the size and the scale of these um, of these outcrops uh, as they go undercover. And then soon after that, we hope to be uh, initiating our drill program sometime in October. Uh, and obviously, assay results will follow that. So look, diving into the Bohir Bohir property, uh, this is obviously a long strike from the recent success that Ben's has had. 
we are really encouraged by the uh, by the Mafic, Mafic Volcanics that are a similar package uh, that run right through the property. We I'll I'll go on to the next slide here, which was really the results that were in our quarterly report, which which shows the yellow the yellow uh, targets that we identified from the lidar uh, as as visible pegmatites, and our team has been busy over the last month uh, diving into each and every one of those to rank them and to to take samples and get them to the lab in short order. The, the other focus of the exploration you'll see here with the yellow outline is uh, following following up a historical government database lithium um, occurrence, and uh, we uh, we have been busy in that north eastern corner of the uh, East Main Loran property. Again, this is actually uh, this is actually exploring off the fringe of a granite rock formation called the Wah Wahamen granite. And the uh, and the and that has been a a, a very sort of prospective uh, exploration target to be to be uh, exploring off the fringe of. Uh, again, the the pegmatite occurrences seem to be uh, seem to be all over the property, in particular this northeastern corner, and we hope to again get samples and follow up with trenching programs in short order. The East Main Laurent Laurent project also has a copper, nickel, and gold focus, but I won't focus on that now. But there is plenty of material on the uh, potential on that property on our website and in our quarterly. And I'll dive into the Wapatik project, which will uh, which you'll see here to the to the left of the map. As I said, right near the Alcom uh, deposit, it's obviously in a um, you know again in a very prospective area for lithium exploration. Uh, and I'll dive into this map, which will be really the uh, the five key areas of the property taken from satellite imagery that we are hoping to get into and uh, and explore uh, in 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 the near term. Uh, we we are based this this project we are earning into to earn a seventy percent interest, and uh, we are getting very close to reaching the first milestone, which is fifty percent ownership. Uh, which will which will be achieved by the end of uh, 2024. The the property also had a, a a very noteworthy nickel discovery on it, and um, that that nickel uh, potential and the exploration program there is is being evaluated. However, the the board has decided to pursue the lithium strategy and follow up these um, these uh, these till sampling occurrences that are occurring on top of what we can see there as outcropping. Uh, outcropping uh, pegmatites. So again, get in the field, sample, trench, and uh, and get um, result or get the samples to the lab, and then delineate and get into the field and drill. Hopefully, around the similar sort of time frame uh, as we'll be doing at our other projects at Northern Lights. So around the October November. So it's a really busy a really busy program uh, of of work, and uh, we uh, we we really are. Um, very encouraged by our, our land package. You know, we have 650 square kilometres of ground, so it's an enormous amount of ground to cover. So really it's a, it's a case of getting the teams in the field as soon as practically possible and uh, and getting results back and, and initiating drill, drill programs as soon as we can. I think I might leave it there. If you do have any questions for Pete, uh, please, we encourage you to reach out via the contact details on the bottom of their ASX releases.